Turning to more breaking news now, a terrifying moment for one brother and sister on the northeast side held at gunpoint by a group pretending to be the police. Our TV6's Melissa Mahadeo spoke with the siblings tonight and joins us live with their story of survival. Melissa. Yeah, Todd and Erica, these siblings tell me that at first they really did believe that these men were officers. So naturally, they complied and opened the door, only to find moments later they were zip tied on the floor. And they immediately put me down right here. For 22 year old Kathleen Ellis and her brother John, Tuesday night's break in is an experience they'll never forget. They ransacked these two rooms and one they hope to never relive. It's the police open up. You have we have a warrant. Three men dressed in sweatshirts and skull caps embroidered with police banged on their door just before 830. But when Kathleen opened the door, the supposed cops zip tied her and John. They like even fake radioed. Someone was like, we're going to need a female officer. There's a female on the premises and someone responded back. At first, the men seemed legitimate. All the drawers are just like pulled out thrown everywhere until they held a gun to their heads and tore the house apart. They did crazy stuff. They moved the mattress. They poured out a box of cereal on their bed. They stole a cell phone, wallet and lockbox. They broke it filled with documents and about two grand. They would have taken their, her wedding ring if they could money. Her brother was saving for his wedding. And Kathleen and John both tell me they do believe that this was a planned targeted attack since that specific lockbox was taken. They also say there was a fourth person, a getaway man inside a car waiting outside to help those individuals escape. Now, at this point, officers still looking for those fake cops. But so that you don't fall victim to a crime like this, they're offering some advice. First and foremost, if officers knock at your door and you're not sure if they are in fact cops, you can always call the police station and have dispatch verify who they say they are before you even open that door. You can also ask for their badge numbers and do the exact same thing and verify who they are. Also, officers asking that you know your neighbors. If something like this happens, officers say they rarely operate in stealth mode. You can look outside, know your neighbors. There will be a police presence and there will be cop cars outside in all likelihood. So make sure that you're not falling victim to a crime like this. Of course, we're going to keep you posted on this story as it continues to develop. But for right now, I'll send on back to you at the desk.